We begin with breaking news at the top of the hour. An Aiken County deputy shoots a suspect, and there is a huge police response near an elementary school. Going to give you a look at the blocked off scene from our Sky 12 drone. Law enforcement says an erratic suspect and a deputy were involved in a clash, ending in gunfire that injured the suspect but sent both to the hospital. The deputy was not shot during the scuffle. And the location is actually near J.D. Lever Elementary School, but it didn't happen at the school or have anything to do with it. News 12 live coverage begins with Sydney Hood. Sydney, we know SLED is getting involved now. What else can you tell us about this situation? Zaina, we're right across the street from the school, and this all took place as school was getting out for the day. Now, we've still got a pretty active scene right here behind me as deputies and SLED agents continue taking pictures and picking up evidence. Now, SLED did confirm to us they are investigating a deputy shooting someone. They say a deputy was injured in this altercation. Police say that deputy was not shot. Only the suspect was shot. Again, this did not have anything to do with the school. Deputies say all students Students are accounted for and they are safe as far as school goes. Once law enforcement confirmed it was safe to do so, the school district lifted the lockdown. Now, we did get a statement from the Aiken County Public School District saying during the lockdown, students and staff were moved out of sight of doors and windows. It goes on to say parents and guardians were notified of the enhanced security procedures and advised to exit the campus and await further instruction regarding afternoon dismissal. Now, if you take a look at the scene right now, in terms of traffic, it looks totally different than whenever we got out here a couple of hours ago. We're right here on Columbia Highway across the street from the elementary school. Traffic is moving right now. A couple hours ago, they did have some lanes blocked off here. So if you are traveling down this road, traffic is flowing pretty much back to normal. But we've still got some deputies out here behind me. They are continuing to pick up evidence, take pictures, and investigate the scene. Now, this is still an active and ongoing going investigation. We are going to stay right here on the ground and bring you more updates as they come our way. And that's good news that traffic is not really being impacted now as people make their way home. But we know it really was a chaotic scene hours ago as parents were trying to pick up their kids. It was. And you know those students had to be upset, too. That shooting was probably close enough for many of them to hear it. And so that's probably a frightening afternoon on this first week of school for Aiken County. Sydney Hood live there for us on the scene. Thanks, Sydney, for the update. To weather